Hi, MarshmallowTwelve.com, and this is an updated version of how to change, well, how to allow users to change the background image using images that you've provided. So, um, I'm just going to show you this file structure what I've got here. This is my index page, which is just basically the page, which you know, just your general page. Um, I've got an images folder which contain these three images, which are um, actually the images used in the the same images that I used from the previous video. And I have a core folder here with um, jQuery, because I want to use jQuery. Um, change background, which is a JS file, so change bg.js and change bg.php. Um, you could probably name this as something more better, I suppose, but I'm just going to stick with that. It may confuse you, but um, it'll do. Um, basically, you just want the code, not the names of the files, really. Um, right, so blank page let's get started so first of all what I want to do is just create a div id um, choose bg um, I'm going to put a style on this in a minute um, forward slash div um, href um, ok um, and for this well, we're going to put the images on in here so img source equals um, images and I called it one dot jpeg um, right so on the a tag we're going to do an on click and that's going to go to a change image function in javascript and we're going to pass it the number one because it's the first image right so we can basically just copy these down because I have three images okay um, and what I'm going to do is put a break on here and do another one but this is now going to go to um, a function called clear image just in case they want the uh, clear image just in case they want the background to go back to white right so let's just see what this looks like alright we've got that so what I'm going to do is just put some style on here I wouldn't recommend using inline styling but I'm just going to keep it like this just for now so background um, dash color um, and that's going to be white um, let's put a width on here of 200 pixels um, Put some padding on that of 10 pixels, and we'll align the uh, text to the center of the div. So it looks a bit like that. It just looks like it's moved in a bit, but um, when once you start getting background images, you'll be able to see this a lot clearer. Because if you don't, then um, things will sort of merge together, and it becomes unclear for the user to read. Um, so basically if I just show you here real quick style and um, background dash color if I put that as say black you'll see how you get like a little border around that um, just so you can see the image no matter what the background is it's always going to be look like that and it's slightly in as well from the corners um, right so let's just get rid of that so next what we're going to do is um, some JavaScript. So in also by the way I have imported jQuery and the change back background.js file up there in the head of the uh, HTML. Um, right, so for this one, for the JS we're going to create a function called um, what was it, change image. Um, and that requires a uh, parameter so I'm just going to say number because that's what we passed in there um, and then we're going to post to um, uh, PHP here so core forward slash change uh, bg.php um, and we're going to pass it to the um, number that was passed And that's going to call a function. And 
flies back data. Right. Um, so I'm going to move this in a bit like that. Um, so then once uh, the data comes back, so basically the session variable that's been set. Um, but at the moment this is just setting the variable, so you don't really need to um, do anything at the moment with this apart from change the background image to the number that was specified up here. So what we need to do is change the body tag. I want to change CSS. I want to change the background dash image. And in here we need the URL. Um, and we want to go to the images folder. And it is... Um, well, we need to concatenate the number that was passed into that. So that will successfully change the background image. So now let's um, do the clear image. So um, actually function clear image. So we don't need a parameter on this one. Um, basically, um, I'm going to use .get this time. Um, so we're going to call forward slash change background PHP and that's why we're going to go to the reset BG. Um, that's going to call a function. Okay, and then after that, just move that in a bit um, and play back the data. So basically, all we need to do on this is change the body dot CSS. Um, I'm going to change the background dash image, and because we want to not set it to anything, we just leave it blank, and that will set it to nothing basically. Right, so that's the JavaScript done. Now onto the PHP. The PHP is simple. Um, I'm just going to do if is set dollar underscore post number. Um. So we're going to start the session, start a PHP session, and then we're going to set um, the session. We're going to call the session image, and we want to set that to dollar underscore post and the number that was passed. Okay, so we're we're creating a session called image, and we are um, the value of that session, the image session, then. Um, will be the posted number that was posted from this JavaScript file here. So the number in this change image function, which is uh, which is equivalent to this number you put in here, in a way. Uh, okay, so that's that, um, and now we need the clear one. So if is set dollar underscore get. You could just you could use post for this, but I just prefer using uh, get for this one. Reset background. So, uh, what if I missed stuff up there? Um, is set. Okay, we need another one. So, we're going to start the session. And then basically, we're going to um, destroy the session. So, session underscore destroy. And that's it. The uh, simple and but works very well. So if I just refresh the page, um, we select this image. Um, oops. All right. So simple mistake here. We've not concatenated back onto this the dot uh, JPEG extension. So um, this should work now. So refresh. There we go. That's that one that one and that one's working and clear back to white so once again if I just refresh the page just to uh, reset everything so if I click on this one now um, and then if I refresh the page again oops um, alright I understand what I've done now and um, if we refresh the page again and um, it will clear the image back to white so what we need to do is on the index page um, above this div here, so underneath the bother, we're just going to create some PHP. Um, I'm going to start the session, um, and then we're going to say if 
is set dollar underscore session image so if these are sessions set then we're going to echo out um, here um, script type slash javascript okay and then in here we're just going to call the change image function and we're going to uh, concatenate onto here the uh, the session image number so now if we refresh there we go um, it will go back to that so all the time you refresh the page so if you change this one refresh and um, the image will stay the same so basically on all your pages if you just have this little PHP here basically so it's just checking if there is a session set then we're going to call the change image function and set that image for the current page um, so if we clear then that destroys the session and if we refresh then obviously there is no session there so it won't change the image to anything uh, so that's an updated version of how to allow users to change a background image from images that you provide um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time